Much? Where's the button? Um, okay, that's it. All right, guys, what's going on? Megan here. Sorry I'm behind on the videos. Why am I saying sorry? I told you I was, was going to be busy. Uh, obviously, you guys know what's going on. Semester's full-blown. Really don't have time. Still managing all these crazy things. Uh, but I figured I'd try every now and then to pause and make these quick videos, right? Just, I don't know, just to throw a few tips here and there. A lot of people want to pick in my brain. So there it is. Um, yeah, shit just got real. Like I said, it's the last semester, so... I gotta make a count. I gotta get that last 4.0 and get the fuck out of here. Body building as far as my, my cut, I'm still at 204, 205. So uh, I made it so that well, I have two weeks left. Yeah, two weeks left. Uh, started at 12 weeks out. So I'm two weeks out. And I told you guys I was losing 2.4 2 pounds per week, which was way too much. So I made it so that by the end of the 12 weeks, I lost about one pound a week. So, my, so pretty much from 217. I'm trying to go from 217 to 205 with my strength intact and without losing too much muscle mass and it's working perfectly. I'm, my strength is actually going up on a few exercises and I'm not losing too much fullness in the muscle, right? Which comes from obviously not having, um, I mean, the fullness is still here because I'm still carb back loading. So I'm still getting my carbs, a lot of fucking carbs post workout, things like that. So it's amazing. I didn't think by losing, it's very hard to lose 12 pounds, one pound a week in 12 weeks and maintain or increase your strength, which I managed to do so far on top of school and all the fucking stress that's going on right now. As you can tell, I'm a lot angry these days. Uh, so everything's working well. What's gonna happen is people, people wanna know what's gonna happen after the 12 weeks run out. When the 12 weeks run out, hopefully I'll be at 205 for, I was trying to maintain that for about three weeks, which I have. So I'm gonna start another 12 week cycle, try to lose another pound a week and try to go down to at least 190. I wanna be comfortable at 190. And I wanna see how big I look at 190. So just stay tuned. Like I said a pound a week. It's a lot. It's a lot harder now. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot harder now because of all the things I got to do differently. Uh, it's it's body, Everybody that's been bobbing for a long time knows it's a sport where you got to put in 100, percent not 90, not 80, 70. And like I told you guys before, with the fucking pie chart, you can't put 100 percent of something into uh, into a category and not have the other things suffer, right? So if I have 100 percent of energy for one day or mental uh, strength, willpower. I have to manage that shit. How much is gonna go into school and homework? How much is gonna go into finances? How much is gonna go into personal education, into the kid, into the two jobs? How much is gonna go into the channel? How much is gonna go into working out and meals? I mean, it's fucking insane. I hate it, but it's something I love it because it makes me a better and stronger person every year. So, because of this, a, a very small slice is going into bodybuilding. That's why I'm trying to lose only a pound a week, right? I could lose more, but something else will suffer. Right, so you got to be smart with it. It's management 101, right? So uh, that's the update on the diet. If you guys, those you guys that want to know, uh, what else? What else? That's also why I'm not making a lot of workout videos. I, I you know, just don't have time. Most of the times I work out in the morning or after after work or before homework and things like that. When the semester, when the next break hits, I'm gonna go back full blown into the videos, full blown into the research and the, and the, the Sherlock Swole discoveries and you know and whatnot. Alright guys, so quick video to keep you guys informed. Went shopping today. Another thing I struggle with is my meals, obviously. This always been my, my, my weakness in bodybuilding is I just my appetite sucks ass. So I try to find different ways to eat this, you know, to eat protein, you know, get my protein in. Today I went back to muscles. You guys remember muscles, right? Uh very good source of protein. It's about 24 grams of protein per serving. So 24 grams per four ounce serving. Eight servings in here. It's about four dollars. So it's a very good deal. So I got this. Um, I also got a seafood mix. This is also very affordable. I forgot exactly how much it was, but it tastes just as much as chicken, I think, if you if you do it per pound. 21 grams of protein, only two grams of fat uh, per four ounce serving. So not bad, right? You, you, I can't keep eating chicken breast every fucking day. I just can't do it, guys. I gotta find different things, different protein sources. Uh, I got some potatoes, right? Um, guys, I'm a big rice eater. Now, Normally, I just cook my own fucking rice, but once again, semester's full blown, don't have time. So, I went back to this shit right here. I used to eat that back when I slept with Mohammed in Progress Street. Uh, I just take that to work. If I'm in a rush, get up. Uh, when uh, Ernest is ready, we just go you know, go to school, and I put that in the bag. This way, if I'm hungry, or uh, I have to go to the gym or things like that, I just throw it in the microwave, 90 seconds. It has about 5 grams of protein, 46 grams of carbs, and only 3 grams of fat in one serving and this makes two servings so i bought about five so i got the jambalaya 
Hope I said that shit right. Jambalaya, mm -hmm. uh, Uncle Ben's whole grain, whatever. These are only about a dollar ninety to a dollar and twenty eight cents each. So it's not. It, it it's more expensive than buying rice yourself, but you know, convenient. I got the great value version, which is a dollar twenty eight. Uh, roasted chicken flavor, really fucking good, guys. And I got the red beans and rice. And these are all these are all under two dollars, so it's not bad. It's more expensive, but relatively cheap. It's better than not making your meals and buying a subway sandwich at the end of the day. You feel me? All right. Um, and the last one is pinto beans and rice. So that's gonna be part of my carbs. And I got a lot of protein, obviously. Protein is the key. Got a lot of beef, right? You gotta have your beef already. I got a uh, chuck tender roast. I hate buying beef because it's so expensive, but once again, it's one of the best sources of protein. One of the best, next to eggs and fish and things like that. Uh, more beef. Pretty much the most expensive thing I buy is beef, guys. Because you can't find cheap beef, it's almost impossible. And ground beef is, uh, ground beef can be just as expensive. Yeah. Alright, what else I got? What else I got? Uh, and I got my pork chops. That's it's actually the cheapest source of protein and one of the best tasting. Unless you uh Muslim or Jew and you can't eat that. I love pork chops. I got no uh I got nothing against it. Uh ten dollars and sixty-three cents. This is only about two dollars a pound. You can't beat that. And that's all I got for today guys. Um uh, I went shopping last week and I didn't eat too much these past few days, so I didn't have to refill on too much shit, right? As far as car back loading, I still got my ice cream and shit in the fridge, you know, I still got, I got this shit right here to back load with, great value sandwiches, um, four grams of protein, 26 grams of carbs, one gram of fat, uh, yeah, so yeah, I still back load, still eat dirty as fuck, and I'm still losing and maintaining my weight, so I'm not really too worried about that, and uh, so you guys stay tuned. When the two weeks are over, I might do a transmission video, show you guys the before and after from the fat ass 217 to the 205. Don't worry about the fat face, it's not going to go until I hit 190, because I, I think it's around 185 that it came on. So around 185, I might lose it. I fucking hate it, but hey, fucking genetics. You guys saw my picture when I was 11 years old, looking like this, my boo status. So, um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, that's it, guys. I think I showed you guys everything. And, um... How long is the video? Uh, seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah, yeah I think it's way too long. All right, that's it, guys. I'm out. All right, guys. I also forgot to show you this. I get this almost every time I go shopping now. I fucking love it. Most of you guys are familiar with it. Rotisserie fucking chicken. The best smelling... Smelling shit, motherfucker. Smell. <laughs> mm. The best smelling <laughs> shit ever. I mean, even if it's not on your shopping list, when you walk by that fucking aisle, you got to pick it up. But it's only $4. 4 to $5, right? For a whole fucking... Rotisserie than a motherfucker, guys. I love this, right? I fucking love this. It's a uh, lemon pepper rotisserie chicken. Walmart has it. Kroger has it. Mostly, it's only about five dollars or less, and it's a lot of protein, obviously. And I, I wish I could learn. I could learn how to make this at home. Oh my god! But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna eat this today. In fact, right now, cause I skipped breakfast. Come back with some shit. And um, that's it, guys. I'm out. Thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for buying the t-shirts. And if you got questions, comment below, video question, right? Before your question, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is. Push your questions. One fucking sentence. Don't send me paragraphs. I got way too many messages in my inbox and way too many people that I got to get to for me to sit there and read paragraphs. The reason why I still read your long ass messages is because I feel like not everybody knows the rules. But the more I keep publishing it over and over again, the more I'm going to start getting a little mean and start skipping the big paragraphs. I know this... I know you have a lot to ask, but you got to be considerate. A lot of people are waiting in line. So, um, that's it. And stay tuned for next videos. I'm out. Yo, come on, son. <laughs> anyway, so, so I, I was like, yo, Hansa, let's, let's make a video and show you how we came up with these insiders. And we spent like the last 10 minutes laughing. The first one is you have to change. You have to change.